Yeah. You ever saw Tate before? I'm right next to you. I mean, back up now whenever it's been busy, you know, but here and there. Salt, pepper, and everything, right? Yep. You put the brute wine in there? Yep. Nice, nice. And the sage. And the sage. Italian herbs. kind of full down there so I can get it in now. I probably won't use all that space. Okay. Well, if you need more, it's right down there. All right, hurt. Yeah, so it's been, uh, you know, it's off to dude sitting outside, so I wouldn't So if you've dabbled a little bit. Yeah, never like, Not the major. I'm gonna turn this on, guys, okay? No, I don't want that one up. So, I mean, I'm gonna check all my means and plows. I can see that all this stuff is, he has backup, so obviously he's trying to get his olds out first. All right? Yep. So, I see all that stuff down there. He already has a good build on that. Uh, caramelized onions. You got a backup of caramelized onions? Yes, right underneath. Yep. So he has everything ready to go. You know, the only thing different that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this sauce. I'll put a more ladle in there. You guys right here. Yeah. I don't want to. Here's more salmon. Can I get this in a different meat. container? You find artichokes? And that's back no. on the sand. We don't need that. That's already good. Yeah. You want me to put it on your hand? Yeah, we look good. Yeah. All right, so we're just waiting, you know what I mean? It's, everything looks good. Probably these stocks, I can dilute just a little bit. They look very strong, those stocks, so. Almost of the day. All right, we're good to go. We got gloves. We look good. Sanitizer bucket, sanitizer for the tongs. We got mash going. There's nothing else. We got rose petals. We got orchids. That's just for lunch. Uh, flowers to dredge the uh, butter in. Huh? The flowers to dredge the uh, butter in. Yeah, right there. Yep. That's that's what I'm trying to do right here. I want to ask Emily, uh, do is that Yoki going to go with the second course on the prefit? Otherwise, I don't even need to fire this. But we'll keep this yellow down here so you can, we can read it down there. All right. Emily, do you want the Yoki with the second course? Okay. Okay. So we got that information, so we're going to fire our pan and everything right when they're about to put that grill wedge out because I know he's going to put that smoked chicken up. So that's pretty fast. Actually, that grill wedge is only going to take a couple of seconds. So we might as well get our pan kind of ready down here. I'm not going to blast it yet. Right here. A little bit of oil. Uh, very well said. So it'll be a little bit of peppers, a little bit of shallots to start. Uh, get that going. 
Then we're gonna throw in our extra veg, summer veg that we had left over. We didn't want it to go bad, so we kind of saved little portions to throw in the yolk. Um, and then I'll take it. I'll take it from there. Do you got your smoked chicken already or no? Smoked chicken. You can take a handful of your rest, but I got I got it in right now. Okay, so he already fired his smoked chicken, so we need to do reds also, so I might as well just get those ready. Because that's something that's going to hold well, more color. You guys got paprika for me or no? We have some right here. Then this needs to be over here because this is something that goes in that bit. So, we have a few minutes. Once we get some color on that side, that's inside now. I'll flip it. That's it basically. So I'm gonna turn that up a little bit. We got the potatoes heat on a little bit, so obviously hot pan for everything saute. So we're just gonna go. Usually you start to see it smoke a little bit, and then that's your entry point. Yeah, you'll see it smoke a little bit. Yeah. And you'll get your timing. Like you'll know when how you turn it, how you turn it on. And if it don't sizzle, it ain't right. So we got a little bit of a sizzle. On Saturday, throwing something on a cold pan. A little bit of that. Grab these pepper, I mean these uh, potatoes. I'm gonna bring my pan right over to me. Get a nice crisp on there. A little bit of color, a little bit of paprika. Chop salt and pepper again. I'll put salt. that dry sage in now, kind of get a little bit of work in there. Add a little bit more later. Italian seasonings. Waking up those dry seasonings. Try not to blame your pan too much, but sometimes it's impossible. You know what I mean? Where's the That was really good. And then... You still got that veggie stock left over from yesterday? No. Just a little bit. I'll turn down my heat a little bit. And then I'm going to just make sure I got my maple right there. I got my almond milk down there. He's giving me a little veggie stock. So I'm good to go. And these potatoes are turn and burn. You know what I mean? You just know you want good color on there. Hot. That's about it. Alright, you wanna hand me that yolky now? This is only going to take about a second. But I'm just going to put that there. I'm going to fire it here though. Because this one's hotter than this one. This obviously wasn't turned on in time. Sweet potato yolky. It's only like a shot of it. I'm gonna just put it over here next to the yogi bed. I'm going to put a little bit of the maple in there. Now we're getting nice color over there. I'm just gonna try to chill out. I'm gonna get that almond milk. Put a little bit of that in there. Well, this gets closer, so 
The salad went out already. This holds well, but if you overcook it, you're, you're kind of screwed. So I got that mental timer going right now. Like I'm gonna make sure like after a minute and a half, two minutes, I'm gonna check that. A little bit of almond milk. You got bread? Bread right back here. I'm just going to put oil on it because it's vegan, so we're not going to put butter or anything like that. Thank you, potatoes. A bit of vegan butter. Usually, yogi will float when it's done. And that salad didn't even go out yet, so I'm not sure why she didn't take that out with her. Mom will pull everything out. All the yolkies floating. Matt, you want to fill these back up, these two? Absolutely. A piece of vegan butter. That's it. So I'm just going to blast it, this is what we call blasting. I'm going to blast it back up. Hey, hey. Yeah, so you want to get it. Nice and hot. It goes out to them nice and hot. down the middle and the flower and a flower in the corner so I could do pink or I can use one of these orchids but I think it looks beautiful right next to the bread yeah yeah baby second course smoked chicken third course of cheesecake again and that's going with a lobster ram going lobster ram you're going second course these are mac and cheese boots? Yes, sir. Uh, no, I you have thawed right down below here. There's two thawed right below. You might want to pull one out, though, and set it out there. Right, just put that there. All right, so this is the setup for the mac and cheese bite. So, lobster ravioli. Once again, I'm going to get my pan. Try to get ahead of the game, right? Yeah. Let us... I'm not going to put it on real low. That's so the, when I, uh, onions, the apples, the bourbon, and the salads, air salads, salads, yeah. peppers, a uh, little bit of spinach. Uh, Matt, you've been doing shallots, peppers, a little bit of spinach? We haven't been doing spinach. It's not on the menu. The spinach is not on the menu, so I haven't been doing it, but we can. No, oh, it's all right. So you just been doing peppers and shallots? I've and, been doing peppers and shallots, yeah. That's it? Yeah. All right, this is this is real easy. No, no hold on, hold on. I'm wrong, Sean. I'm wrong. It's spinach, not peppers. We took the peppers off with spinach. 
that's what we've been doing. I haven't sold a lot of anything. Doesn't that say spinach? It doesn't say, yeah, it does. Yeah, but you should add a little color in there. Okay, her. And so I was thinking about the orchard chicken. So, so we're going to add this in there for color. Yeah. Got it. Remember, if you touch the raw shrimp, take your gloves off right away. This is all going in there with the shallot. So it's supposed to be a crispy shallot, so I start those real early. This is a sauce that, I mean, it kind of can sit a little bit. This mac and cheese bites is going to take a minute, so I'm going to wait. Who is this? It's Emily. So plus, I'm also going to think about the server and who it is. Yeah, this shrimp look good. Shrimp good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they So I'm going to get those shallots in. These are supposed to be crispy no matter what. <laughs> Excuse me. You said you got more shallots, Cutta? More shallots? Yeah, underneath this another one. Perfect. I'm going to pull those up now. I think it's to the right. Right there. I'll let, I'll let you grab it. A little bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of seasoning. Oh, drop that shrimp in there too. those peppers in. Again, nice and crispy. Once they crisp up a little bit more, grill. Then you add the spinach and the uh, Let that reduce down a little bit. Took out the alcohol. Tiny bit of green. Yeah, you throw that whole thing. You got some reds for me, Chef? Yes, sir. Smoky. Smoke it. Thanks, sir. Salt pepper. Oh and I'm gonna a couple of pads of butter for the richness of it. Bring butter.
So Lob Rav is out, that top left corner. I'm gonna wait for the spinach last minute because I don't want it to wilt that. And then you can put this right here. How many? Like five, six of them. You can go six. here now, you know what I mean? Spinach on top, I'll just let it rest there. That's it. My spoon right there, so I'm not even gonna move it, but I'll sanitize wipe down in a second. All right, so I started that back up. this in there. That's it. around this dish, so that's not what we're looking for. That's it. Beautiful. Took my time. There's a little bit of extra sauce. I didn't want to drown it, like I said. You know what I mean? However you like, though. They uh, all stood around and recorded it. I can not see it taken for that. That's her. A lot better. Yeah, she worked. Yeah. Yeah. I always thought that piece of my paper for fresh something. Yeah. I remember that. This is popping right now. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
What's the skull with just the chicken and biscuits, right? Yeah. Chicks Almost a day went out already. I'm just waiting on him. On who? Matt? No. So, not only that, it's gonna be a hot dish. Because of that blacking, it might make your sauce get real Jar. weird. Yeah, it might get real weird. So, I'm going to do. Matt, you got rice for the line? I'm gonna put that right there where those other pots are right there. Matt, you got rice? Yes, right to the left in a deli and there's a back up too. There's this and then there's more right behind it. It's good, I checked. When's the, when's the date on this? Wanna just date this for me? It's the stuff that we made, it's in the walk-in, the dates on Yeah, you just gotta, you gotta date this though. All right, so that's nice and smoky. I'm actually gonna turn that down. Salt, pepper, and that rice. Change my gloves real quick. Black and seasoning getting you? Oh, yeah. Or I can use a fish tongue. I mean, a fish spatula. It's not stick, the pan, so I don't want to put like a metal spoon in there. So it's a tiny bit of top.
garlic. Once again, I got a piece of kale and that's going to the ravioli. That's the whole ticket. Hey. I heard the jambalaya. Oh. So a jambalaya just came in and a lobster wrap, all right? So it makes a jambalaya. Do you remember the lobster wrap or no? Yeah. Do you want to give it a shot or you want to watch one more time? I'll give it a shot, yeah. All right. So what are we going to start off with? Hot pan, right? Yeah, Two hot pans. Pan. And then I'll walk you through the lob. I'll walk you through the jumbo lab while you're making the lob wrap. What was in this? Uh, peppers, sun-dried tomatoes, yeah. calabata olives, white wine, salt, pepper, herbs, little fresh herbs. So the sauce is white wine. White butter. wine butter. Lobster Ravi, you remember what goes in that? Now I'm just gonna go underneath you and grab some shrimp real quick after you're done with that. You're good. Change my gloves real quick. Yep. Yeah. Alright. No problem. We got it. So I'm gonna give you a cooking spoon. This is yours. Good memory too, man. I'm gonna use this one for me, okay? You got one. Gotcha. Good job. Good memory. Good memory. Good memory. I didn't think you were gonna remember. Alright, remember you want to pull your pan off the flame and then you really want your scallop to get really crispy because it's on the menu it's supposed to be crispy scallop. Oh, you want them? No, that's okay. You still got some crispy in there, okay? Is that the brew? Yeah. Alrighty. Um, and you forgot, you forgot your shrimp too. Oh, yeah. Alright, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna put this back here. You're gonna add that back in, okay? You're gonna throw your shrimp in there now. Thank you. 
guy's got a sweet potato after him. He's got it, he's got it okay. coming up. Sorry. There you go, my man. How about yeah, you just pass it down to them, they take care of it. Okay, just put a little oil in there. Kind of save these for a second. You might have your flame up just a little bit too high. Tiny bit of cream. We can go out by the table too whenever you're ready. All right. Now you guys got asparagus for me? bit at a time. You don't want it too thick. Just kind of swirl that around. Then you can drop your potato app. We can get a wrap. We're not going to drop it right yet, but we're going to have it on our board. That was awesome. And then if you can hand me uh, some fresh pasta in there. Uh, yeah. No, you're just gonna put that right here, right now. All right? Yeah. Maybe um, just a little bit, a hairy more of a uh, stock. I'll put a hair of this and a hair more stock. And then I'm gonna take, we're gonna need two pieces of uh, Picasso bread. Thank you. 
Alright, let's see. I'll put a little bit more parm in there. Put your uh, pads of butter in there. Give it that rich. I got it. I got it right here. Crab rag going to Buffalo Cheeseburg, walking in, going with a bunch of other apps. I heard. So, crab rag going, there's a bag in there of crab rag going. Alright, that's all awesome. perfect. Yeah. Throw uh, oranges in there? Lemons. Oh, lemons. Lemon. Yeah. And then you need buffalo cheese curd. Yeah. Um, hey, Chef, is the pot special um, gluten-free? So yes. Okay, thank you. Yep. I'll make sure it is, okay? Thank you. Just make sure you denote it on there, okay? okay. Or note it, not okay. denote it. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then you're gonna grab a bowl after that. We're gonna get light buffalo. Um, yeah, just a couple handfuls. Two and a half. You guys close on a black pad? Can I get a plate for the curd? Oh, that's this? Yep. Yeah. Thank you. I'm gonna drop my pasta. Crush pasta. Here, just bring the whole thing over there. And then that's gonna go right here. You guys ready to go up on that? Oh yeah, yes. Okay, black and pie. All right, so one biscuit first over here. Bash first, then biscuit, then stuff. I do. You guys got that asparagus, right? Thank you. You guys can use that asparagus again. That's Peppies. And I'll put that orchard apple with the sauce. That's it. So this is ready. That's ready. We're just waiting on our pasta. They got a whole bunch of hats, so we're chilling. Okay, so you guys can replate that, please. Gonna put that sauce right over here like this.
Wow, that is so nice. You grab a bowl for that buffalo cheese curd? Uh, Did you grab a bowl so we can toss that up? Right. So I got a lot going on with fish and all this other stuff. So I'm just gonna make sure my boards are white. Change my gloves. The sauce is right over there. I can come around and grab it. My dirty stuff. Now it's on the bottom. I'll get it. I'll get it. Right there. That right there. Go easy. That's all we have. Okay. It's enough for a good deal, but. All right. Entrees are in. Buffalo sauce. Yeah, right here. We're gonna go super light buffalo sauce. Turn in the back up top. Two la wrap, two cod, and two gel, one gel. Right, we'll just two gel. I got five veg all day for us. How many more veg? Do we, uh, we need a double veg on one of the tommies for? Oh, uh, then I'll pop it. Jail, jail, pod. Yep. Right, hold on, I'm going to sanitize everything. Behind, behind. So we're not going to start it yet, but we get our pan down. So you're going to do a double lob grab. I'm going to have you do it. I'll have you do yours right here. Alright, I'm going to do my... Uh, Double, I'm gonna do a cod right here. I'm gonna fire both of those right there. Can you pan sear the uh, lens? Yeah, we'll pan sear that right here. We can just get them ready, but we're not gonna fire them yet. And I'm actually gonna get in there. I'm like, yes. Unlike yesterday, oh, okay. I'm gonna cut them. I should have cut them first. I'll put this on this and put, bring it over here. So that way you're not on uh, me and I'm not on you. So then we're gonna need another rice. So I'm gonna get a double rice. Matt, you got rice. I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. Yeah, rice and another one right there to the right. Right, and I'll need sauce for three boys. I'm sure you saw it, but... You got, you got it, or you want me to make it from scratch? I have it. It's to the left. The bottom of the left. I have the very, the very back on the very far left. There's a short one and a tall one. Here's the short one first. When was this made last? Oh, you just made it? Just made it. All right. Yeah. Here you go, you can just get a spoon and put it in there and then... Alright, so you gotta get this out. I'm gonna get this out. I 
I'm just gonna put this down below. With rice. He can do his own thing. Do you need me to grab you more rice for your one salad? Um, we're good. We're just trying to set up this table real quick. So, all right, we have, before you get into that, because they haven't even called that. So we have, I'm going to do the two black cod in this. I'm going to prepare that though, okay? Yep. We're not even going to play it yet. I'm going to put that over there. The two black cod, that's going to be the sauce for the black cod right there. Got the rice. They're going to need to do my asparagus, all right? So, you got your two lot wraps. Yep. You already got your shrimp ready. You got your salad back there. And then the last thing is that we have that two salmon. Joe Island salmon. And I think we're just gonna do it, find another one of these big ones. I'm gonna get my oil in there now. They haven't even come for the apps yet. So this is gonna be a slow, this is gonna be a slow roller. I, I can already tell. So we already got all our I's dotted and cross all our teeth. Two cod, then I'm going to make, uh, I got it. Then I'm gonna make, you got your peppers. I got a little bit of pepper here for me. Got the calamata and the sun dried. Then, she's taking out the apps now, but they're kind of jumping the gun a little bit. You need any of this? No? Fresh water, not so. Fresh! Yes. Then... You got any pastas? You got two pastas, so you're gonna need two uh, two lob wraps, and then you're gonna need two breads, and then we're all set. Like I gotta process. That's why I always like him process something, and then he'll cut his grandpa. I can't really watch that. And then my beetle like it's not gonna go right on, so I gotta kind of like cut my one piece of bread. All right, who's got this table right here? Make sure you sell your tickets, Matt. Emily. Emily, let me know when you want table six. I will. Alright, just let me know. You just leave it right here. And then you're going to need bread, okay? You're always going to go 180. These are a little bit more forgiving because we're just really trying to put some marks on. Really it's too great. Yep, the cotton uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, salmon won't need it. So, I tried my garden. And then this is easy because we're just going to pass it on now because this it'll be his responsibility. We're sticking bread right here. <laughs> Now I'm gonna grab that rice underneath you and stir it around real quick. Coming out nice and good. A little salt and pepper. No herbs ain't gonna hurt. And once I got it up to the right temperature, I put it over there in the holding oven, all right? These are for those polentas. And I might need to do this on a bigger pan. Now there are specific temperature. Hold on. Yeah. No, I got it. I got it. I got the hot. Uh, so that's gonna be hot right here, okay? Yep. No, six is the lobster wrap and uh, are we good at home like that from now Yeah, you should. Right. That's proper. All right. Did you hear the fire six? Yes, yep. Yeah, 
I'll get away from Always have a towel. I got towels oh, I down there for you, too. All right? Watch out, watch out. I don't want to burn you. Just in case there's any water left over, sometimes it flames up. Yep, you want to put your peppers in there, your shrimp. And then don't be afraid to put the... Bring it to you sometime. Can I get some more orchards from the back, please? Yeah, mine too. Lemons? Limon. Limon? Oh, lemon's already in there. Oh, is there? Yeah. Oh, I see it now. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Be going with the table. I want white wine that. Yeah, 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 white Honey in there? Honey water? Yeah. A little couple of butter pads. Yep, right underneath. The rice is probably good. Get a couple of tosses. Point line to this again. So he's a little 
couple butter pads. That's what I'll double check. Same thing. And oven. Just see what they got going on. See where they are. That's what you have to do. This has got the onions and peppers. It's going to be really hot. Watch yourself. Yeah, that's how I can move the wings out. You're good, you're good. All right, coming over with... Salt, pepper, and everything, right? Yep. You put the brew wine in there? Yep. Nice, nice. And the sage. And the sage. Some Italian herbs. Put it on top when it's done. I'm gonna fix these sauces a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit more cream. Do you have seafood stock in there? Yep. Parmesan, a little bit of parm. Yep. Nice, look good, bro. So that when you go to school, all right, let's just clean up real quick. Boom, and then when you go to grab, they're all the same side. Like, they're all the same way. Yeah, it takes some experience for you, like, for some beer stuff and some. Yeah. It's already pretty organized. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Just a little pink though. They try to do the pink though. Alright, pads underneath, soft. Rice is over there. I'm just walking it through. A lot of rab sauce is made, a lot of rabs are down. So this is where I'll hold the solution. It's a lot a little lighter than it was. Um, and color wise, yeah. Ain't nothing that a little cream ain't gonna fix, you know what I mean? We're gonna grab one and see. See how they're just starting to do their thing? I can see the markings get up to it. There you go. Yeah, it's all ready. It's own sauce, you notice that? Yeah, it did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like the glaze and it just made it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Smells good. They both are done, they're solid. So with that honey water reduced in the oven, it already made its own sauce. Yeah, sure does. That's just honey water? Yep. So we probably could hit it with limes and then have dried dried uh, anchos. Yeah. 
and then we can put that in the sauce. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I know exactly what you're saying. Okay. Yep. So we don't probably need to make that sauce anymore. We can exactly. make it right in the pan. Make I'll have to get dried anchovies over here. Yep, they're in that big box. You ain't got to do it now, but actually, hand me one dried ancho right now. Did you? I know it's you because I don't wad up my, uh, my towels. Oh! Get you a line? Yeah, let me, I, yeah, let me get a line. Good call. She said we're on auto fire? Yeah, we're good. She just came in and fired the big table. That hurt. So we're going to heat those back up. So you can count out one's not veg, it's just the double veg for the Tommy. So however you want to do that. Yeah, two cops. A year or two. This sauce is so good. Such a good sauce. And then we have a little pick over here. 
So this one, like I said, we just did this kind of smooth that go right there. Build up the nice awareness. Feel the ease. A little bit more firm to the touch. Then over the Let's see, the one with no mushroom is one of the two mediums. One of the what? One of the two mediums. He's getting a lot of them. No. Uh, did you ladle those out with a spoon first? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. There you go. Then they're going to need orchards and they're going to need some of these out there, okay? Yeah. Oh, you already got a couple on there. But maybe a lemon up top? Alright, rice. And you could mash vegetables, Tommy. Normal Tommy. Yep. Still looking good on that. Nice, looks good. <laughs> All right, they got their window on. So I'm right here. Sorry about that, Matt. You're okay. Here's one Tommy, here's two Tommy. And we're gonna go right here. Guys, I, I need asparagus to sell. They're gonna have to wait on this side. We got more working. Yeah, I'm gonna sell this first though. Okay. Yeah. How do we like? So we were short one. There's five more here too. So we were short one order. So we got the side working. No worries. That's what I do. Don't worry. What I do. All right, Tommy's sell these. Um, yeah. Ooh. So that Don't one, you yeah, dare. Uh, Don't so, break it. So kind of, so you have a problem. Like that. I don't yeah, definitely get, I get a point right there. Get the oh, sauce back on. And yeah, you're just going to pound it up. Eat the flowers. Oh, yeah. Sure it's okay. I mean, we might have uh, one more table. I mean, if you want to make one, you can. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. 